My name is Debbie, and I remember it like it was yesterday. It was Friday, October 29th, 2010, and I glanced at my cell phone to find a message from my husband which read, I'm sorry, but I went home and took my things. I was numb. I wasn't sure what to think. We had four children and had just celebrated our 20th anniversary, and I had known for the past five years he'd been struggling with same-sex attraction. However, the numbness and coldness and loneliness that I felt was overpowering. How would I ever survive, and how would I provide? Soon, Christmas was approaching, and again, I wondered how would we ever have a holiday with these kids? They had wishes, hopes, and dreams, and needs, and I had no idea how to fulfill any of them. And so again, I prayed and asked Heavenly Father, are you there? Do you know me? I'd been taught my whole life that I was a child of God and that he knew my name, but this would be the test of faith. That Christmas, so many miracles happened in our lives, but I was too numb to even notice, too lonely and too cold. It was a couple days before Christmas day and some friends had come over to visit that I hadn't seen in years. We exchanged Christmas cards and caught up just for a minute and then they left to their family gathering and we left for ours. I took a moment to open the letter and see her family's picture and read her family's letter. But what I found instead was a check for $5,000 and a small note that said, use this for school or use this for a car. Just simply cash it and you don't need to say anything. I knew at that moment my Heavenly Father knew my name. He knew my kids' names and he knew our needs. He didn't change my circumstances but he changed me, and this is the gospel to me.